Hello, my lovelies. I wish I was greeting you with better news. I expected today to be announcing Kamala Harris has won the presidential election and that we really made history, but sadly, that is not how things played out. Donald Trump has won and Project 2025 is going to be a thing. Women, our reproductive rights are going to be under fire. Health care, because he hates the Affordable Care Act, because President Obama came up with that, is going to be under fire. And his whole tariffs idea and other failed economic plans, like all his other failed business ideas, are going to send us through a freaking nightmare, to be honest. Yes, the next Trump presidency is going to be a nightmare. And a lot of the people who voted for him are going to soon find out that that was not a good idea especially after many of the things they thought they were going to get out of him, like another check because they remember that stimulus check, which technically he fought against, but was ready to take credit for after Congress pushed it through. Anyway, once people who voted for him are not, are going to realize they're not going to get the checks or money that they expected. They're going to realize that things are going to get a lot harder under his obviously monarch rule that he wants to do we're going to have to deal with this trump bible and other stuff forcing their beliefs well a perspective on christianity that wants to be pushed and trying to make that the law of the land it's going to be hard but we are still here my lovelies we still have breath in our bodies and we still have a voice we are going to have to do a lot of awareness raising. We are going to have to do a lot of fighting and it's going to be exhausting over the next four years. But we got him out once. We will kick him out in the next four years again. And Project 2025 can try. But we can still push back, voice our unhappiness. And make it clear to these politicians that Project 2025 is not going to fly because America will remain the United States. And despite the Trump's win, we will not give up in fighting to push forward for a better future. So, my lovelies, I'm saying, yes, this is upsetting, but this isn't permission to give up. We may be down, but we are not out. Now, I know many of you are upset, so I suggest to all of you, when you get off work or if you don't have to work today, go out, treat yourself, and try to relax a little bit because we have a hard fight ahead of us. But just because you lose one battle is not permission to give up. Anyway, my lovelies, I hope despite this terrible news, you all have a lovely day.